Gudadari mine is very low in water. We don't have a lot of water available to us right here. We have to pipe the water from some distance away. So what we really liked about the Caterpillar proposal was the proposal to look at automating water carts that can deliver just the right amount of water, not too much and not too little, at the right time. Early in the process, we sat down and really asked how real would want to use a water truck, what the application of the water truck was, what are some of the unique use cases that we'd have to work through and understand. And once we got a little bit of a framework put together for the application of the water truck, what we did is we sent people to site, people that rode with water truck operators for a few days to really understand on a day-to-day -day basis what were the operators doing. And that opportunity allowed them to get to a better design quicker. We wanted to make sure that we weren't overwatering the roads, so getting the saturation model right so that the truck knew the last time that the road had been watered, and we're looking at the evaporation rate to determine when it should need to be watered again. And then different watering sequences for different areas. So on a ramp, for instance, you water on and off as you go down the ramp, rather than continuous watering. We don't want to get it too wet, because that would create muddy, ruddy conditions, potentially but more importantly, hazardous conditions. So the most important thing was trying to understand how to water in a way that would allow the integrity of the road to be maintained and to ensure that we got good dust suppression. The driver for automating water carts was really around safety, stopping the humans interacting with the machines or the water carts interacting with other machines. They are self-filling, so it takes any hazards of an operator getting out to fill up their own water cart. And we also carry an A-stop. For any reason we need the trucks to stop, we just hit the stop button and all the autonomous trucks and water carts within 300 metres of the area will come to a stop. Developing the automated water cart has been one of the best and most successful automation projects that we've been able to do here at Rio Tinto. We turned on the water carts and they started up and been delivering water where we need them to deliver water and doing what we want them to do.